Hey everyone, I'm Coach Kozak from Hasfit, and welcome to my strength training at home routine. This routine is great for both men and women of an intermediate through an advanced fitness level. The only equipment you're going to need is a pair of dumbbells and I'm going to do the whole thing with you. Let's get to work. All right, we're gonna get started with a one leg squat, but we don't need any weights for this one, just our own body weight. We're gonna start by bending down at the knee, putting our hips back, one leg goes behind us, keep your head up, and you're gonna bend over and squat with one leg. We're gonna alternate legs between the right and the left. We're gonna do eight reps on each side. So that's 16 squats all together. That's five, six, so we're bending at the knee and at the waist equally. Seven. Try your best to keep your head up and your back straight. Eight. That's halfway. Nine. So you're not just bending over at the waist, but you do want to break at the knee as well. Ten. Good. Eleven. And you're going to hear me reminding you a lot of this today. Remembering to breathe throughout the entire workout. Thirteen. Fourteen. Two more. Fifteen. And last one, keeping your balance, 16, good. Next, we're gonna head to the floor. We're gonna do a pipe push-up for this one. So we're gonna have our fingers facing one another. We're gonna have one leg up in the air, and we're gonna look back at our foot. So we're creating a different angle for this push-up. This is more shoulders and triceps. Now we're gonna go straight down, back up eight times. One, two, three, Four, five, nice and controlled. Try your best, go all the way down, all the way up. Six, seven, and eight. Very good, we're standing up for the next one. This is the first one that we do need the dumbbells for. So you want to pick up both of your strength dumbbells. We're gonna have your palms facing you, feet your shoulder width apart. We're gonna do a dumbbell snatch from the hand. So we're gonna put your weight back in your hips, and then we're gonna use those hips Drive them forward, and at the same time, bring your elbows up, and flip the dumbbells up overhead. So hips go back, and then you're gonna drive your hips forward as you stand up, bring those elbows up, and pop the dumbbells straight overhead. So it's big power, using your back, using your hips, and you'll notice when I'm doing these, I'm also exploding on the balls of my feet. That's four, we're doing eight. And keep the head up, five, good. Up back, six, just a couple more. Seven, last one, and eight, excellent. Next, we're gonna do an overhead stationary lunge. So we're gonna hold the dumbbells overhead. If you can't quite hold the dumbbells overhead, both of them, you can just hold on to one and press one up overhead. You're gonna see me holding up both. So our arms are locked out and straight. Now we're gonna do a stationary lunge. We're gonna be up, step out, drop straight down until both knees are at 90, and back up, alternating legs. Opposite leg now. Back up, opposite leg now. Back up, try to come up before that back knee hits the ground. That's four, five. We're doing 12 all together. Six, this works your shoulders, your core, your legs. Everything's getting hit on this one. Eight, nine, try to keep good posture. 10, two more. 11, last one, and 12, nice. Bring them back down, moving into an alternating dumbbell curl. So shoulders are back. We're just gonna do a dumbbell curl, and as you come up, you just curl your pinky in and back down. Opposite now, curl that pinky in. And back down, all the way up, all the way down. That's four. We're doing eight on each arm, so 16 all together. Six, seven, nice and controlled. Eight, don't use your body. Nine, ten, nice. Full range of motion, all the way up, all the way down. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, nice and controlled, feel those biceps working, 15, last one, and 16, very good. We're hitting the ground again. This 
next one's a combination movement. We're going to do a combination of a dumbbell fly plus an iso leg raise. So go ahead and put the dumbbells up, out in front of you, a little bend in your elbows. Now I want you to take your legs and bring your feet six inches off the ground. So that's where you're going to hold them the whole time. Now we're going to do a fly. Breathe. Working your abs and your chest at the same time. Very efficient movement. Four, five, doing 12, six, seven, eight, nine, breathe. 10, keep those feet up. 11, last one, and 12. Very good, you can rest. You can stand back up for the next one, but we only need one dumbbell, so you can leave one dumbbell down. We're gonna do a one arm, one dumbbell, self-supported row. So we're gonna start in a staggered stance. We're gonna hold the dumbbell on the side with the leg that's back, opposite hand on the back, shoulders are square. We're gonna pull back on that elbow and row. Anytime we do a row, you're not pulling up here, but you're pulling back on that elbow. Two, three, four. We're doing eight on each. Five, six. You want your upper body at a 45 degree angle. Seven, eight. So now we're going to switch it up. You get the front view. Shoulders are square. And you're pulling back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Hey, excellent. Okay, dumbbells down for the next one. And we're back to the ground. You don't need the weight though. We're going to do a one leg hip up next. Great one for your hamstrings, your glutes, your lower back, and your lower abs. Hands are on the ground. One leg is up. One foot is close to your butt. You're going to press off this heel and press your heel into the ground as your hips come straight up. Trying to touch the, your foot to the ceiling. Two. Three, bring those steps all the way up. Four, do an eight on each. Five, six, seven, and eight. Switch it up. Eight on the other side. One, two, come all the way down, all the way up. Three, four, five, six, seven, last one. And eight. Excellent work. We're gonna grab one dumbbell on the way up. Just need one lap, one dumbbell for the last exercise of the strength round. Dumbbell going straight up overhead. Keep that arm straight. Now we're only gonna bend at the elbow, one arm dumbbell tricep extension, and straighten it back out. From the back, right here. This will help to keep your shoulders square. Let's call that three, four. Five, you're going eight on each side. Six, seven, don't hit yourself in the head. And eight, switch it up. Strap your arm straight up and opposite side now. Feel that stretch in the back of your arm. Two, and try to keep your elbow straight up and down the best you can. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, all right, excellent. First round's done. All right, for the second round, we're getting right back into those one leg squats. We're gonna pick it up in the second round now that you're familiar with all the movements. So we're doing eight on each leg, butt back, and stay in balance. One, two, three. It really helps on these if you find a focal point, find something to fix your eyes on, don't look all over the place because then you're going to go and move in that direction. Six, seven, on the side, eight, nine, try to keep your back straight, ten, make sure you're bending at the knee as well, eleven, twelve, four more, two more on each, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, here we go, last one, and sixteen. Moving right on into those pike push-ups, their fingers facing one another. Try to use the opposite leg on the ground that you used last time, so we're mixing it up. One leg is up, we're looking back. 
And we're dropping straight down eight times. One, two, three. Try to go all the way down, but don't crush your head into the ground. Four, five, six, just two more. Seven, and eight. Excellent job. Back up on your feet, grabbing your dumbbells. Taking a big deep breath, letting the blood rush out of your head. And now we're moving on to these dumbbell snatches. Feet are shoulder width apart, butt back, big power, straight up. One, two, breathe. Three, four, that's halfway. Five, doing great so far, keep it up. Six, seven, last one, eight. Now let's see if you can hold them up, don't take them down. We're gonna transition right into that overhead, overhead lunge. One, two, three, straight down. Four, five, 12 all together. Six, that's halfway, keep grinding through it. Seven. It's gonna hurt everybody in a different spot, depending on where your weakness is. Nine, 10, just two more. 11, and last one, 12, nice. Bring the dumbbells down. We're moving into the alternating dumbbell curl. Shoulders are back, working those biceps now. One, two, curl that pinky in every time. Three, Four, I really want you to control these. Five, on the way up, and on the way down. Six, seven, eight, that's halfway. We're doing eight on each arm. Nine, 10, come on, keep it up. 11, 12, 13, almost there. 14, 15, and last one. 16, excellent. Taking these dumbbells with you to the floor. Moving on to the fly, plus iso leg raise. So arms are up straight, a little bend in the elbow. Legs are up straight, six inches above the ground. And fly, one, two, hold those feet up. Three, four, stretch that chest and then squeeze it. Five, Six, halfway, we're doing 12 all together. Seven, eight, just four more. Nine, 10, 11, last one, and 12, excellent. Set your feet down. We only need one dumbbell for the next one, so just bring one dumbbell up with you. Moving on to the one arm dumbbell self support in a row. So feet are staggered, a little bend the knee. Opposite hand behind the back, the shoulders are square. And we got eight pulls on each arm. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch it up. Should be starting to feel it by now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, dumbbell down, hitting the ground next. One leg hip ups. Get that foot nice and close to your butt. Foot's flat. Hands are right beside. One leg up. Press off your heel and drive your hips straight up as you try to touch your foot to the ceiling. Two, three, four, five. Feeling this one in your hamstring, your butt, your lower back, your little abs. Six, seven, eight. Switch it up. And let's hit it. One, two, three, four. Try to keep that leg straight up. You'll even get some flexibility out of it. Five, six, seven, last one, eight. All right, back onto your feet. Only one dumbbell needed. Move on to the one arm dumbbell tricep extension. Overhead, keep the elbow straight up. One, Two, three, try to keep the elbow straight up. Four, five, six, 
seven, eight. All right, switching it up. Last eight on the other side. One, two, three. This is our last thing for this round. Four, five, six, seven. Last one. And eight. All right, you completed another round. All right, we're halfway done with the strength portion. Get back to our one leg squats, keeping the head up and our back straight. Remember, we have eight of these on each leg. That's three, four, five, six, keeping good pace. Seven, bending at the knee and bending over at the waist. Eight, nine, ten, six more. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, just three more. Fourteen, fifteen, last one, and sixteen. Great work. Hitting the ground now. Moving on into those bike push ups. Personal favorite of mine. Fingers are facing one another. This is definitely a more advanced movement, definitely harder than a normal push up. Straight down. One, two, three. Let's hit you on a vertical plane instead of doing it always on a horizontal plane. Five, six, seven. Last one. And eight. Next one will work. Let's grab those dumbbells for the next one. Hitting our dumbbell snatches. Feet or shoulder width apart. Get big power from our hips and our traps. Up back. One. Pop them up overhead. Two. Three. Four. Faster these move. Five. The easier they'll be. Don't try to muscle it. Six. But instead, try to get them up there nice and fast. Seven. Keep them up on the last one. Eight. Hold them up. Hold them up. Don't put them down. Okay, let's hit those overhead lunges. One, two, three. Both knees come to a 90 degree angle. Four, five, six. Try to keep good posture. Seven, and don't let those dumbbells come down, no matter how bad you want to. Eight, nine, try to keep those arms straight. 10, 11, last one, come on, fight through it. And 12, good. Arms come down, and we're moving right into our alternating dumbbell curls. One, two, let one arm finish before you start the next one. Don't go here. Instead, let one arm finish before you start that next curl. Five, six, keep a good posture, curling that pinky in, seven, Eight, that's halfway. Remember, eight on each. Nine, feel that bicep working. Ten, eleven. Everybody, every body part's getting hit today. Twelve. Not leaving anything out. Fourteen. Fifteen, last one. And sixteen. Excellent. Taking our dumbbells to the ground with us. We're doing the fly leg raise combo. Start with those legs out straight. Bring your feet up six inches above the ground and let's get it. One, just a little bend in those elbows. Feel that chest stretch and then squeeze up at the top. Four, five, nice. Six, keep those legs straight. Seven, eight, just four more to go. Nine, dig deep. 10, 11, last one, and 12. Excellent. You can set one dumbbell down. We only need one for the next exercise. One arm, self-supported dumbbell row. Feet are staggered. One arm behind the back. Let's pull. One, two, three, four, five. Pull back on that elbow. Six, seven, eight. Good, switch it up. And other side, one, two, three, keep those shoulders square, four, five, six, seven, eight. Set them down, 
One leg hip ups. You should be familiar with these by now. Hands are at our side. Let's keep that leg straight. And let's drive off our heel. One, two, try to get as high up as you can. Three, come all the way back down. Four, five, six, two more. Seven, eight, nice, switch it up. Halfway done with these. One, two, three, four, five, six, last two, seven, control it, and eight. All right, to our feet we go. One dumbbell in hand. One arm overhead, dumbbell tricep extension. So that dumbbell straight up, and one arm at a time. Finishing straight up overhead. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, finish this round strong. Last eight on the opposite arm. One, two, three, full range of motion. Four, all the way down, all the way up. Five, six, seven, last one, eight. Three rounds down. Only one more round of the strength phase. 